Hello my internet lovelies and welcome to another episode of Just The Tip. This time we're going to show you how to make a lot of XP, a lot of AP, a huge amount of gill, and all you need is to know what spot I'm going to send you to, and an enemy skill with Match or Magic and Beta. So let's get ourselves on the road. To use this little trick, what you need to do is return to Junon. Pretty much, you can return to Junon from the moment you leave the city, but you might want to go out and continue on a little bit further into the game just to level up your character. I find myself pretty comfortable at about level 24 to 28 coming in and doing this. Uh, mostly that's because it's the level I'm at around about this time in the game, but you will need to make a save because you're going to make your character power level really, really quickly. I finished this off at around about level 48 after doing the task that I wanted to do, but you're going to get a lot of AP, a lot of EXP and a lot of money, which will make it completely worthwhile and easy to work your way through the rest of the game. Upon arriving to this area, you just need to find the red switch. Uh, you will notice if you're playing on the PlayStation 4 version that you can't use your triple speed in this area. I think this may have been to prevent people from really, really abusing this, but it works pretty well. There's two kinds of enemy you'll encounter in this area. These and groups of two or three, which are exactly what you want to fight. All you need to use is Matra Magic and Beta, and it will actually take out the entire group of three very, very quickly. In this fight you'll gain about 210 AP, about 2000 XP, and about 5000 in gil. The other enemy you encounter doesn't give you quite as much AP, but is useful in its own right. It's the enemy that you fight outside of Midgar that can also teach you Matra Magic. It's one of the skills that you use to take down the other enemies, and if you don't have it already on your second enemy skill set, it's going to actually make this a lot faster for you. So make sure to at least get it once whenever fighting these guys. You can choose to run away from this fight, but I just take them down for the extra 90 AP because it's worth it. As you'll be under leveled for this area, it's really recommended that you make sure to cure completely between each fight because one slip going wrong and you might actually lose out because both enemies have strong attacks while one of them actually has poison attacks which will take you out over turns. Make sure to drop into Junon in on a regular basis to save and to keep track of where your progress. And I hope you guys have a really good time using this trick to beat Final Fantasy VII across your knee. Have a good time and I'll see you in the next video.